The following are based on true alien encounters. The night was eerily still as I lay in bed, the pale glow of the moon casting shadows across my room. I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off, a subtle unease that lingered in the air. Tossing and turning, I struggled to find sleep, my mind wrestling with the haunting sensation that the world outside my window held secrets yet unveiled. Suddenly, an otherworldly light bathed my room, painting everything in an ethereal glow. My heart raced as I sat up, the light intensifying, seeping through every crack and crevice. A low hum reverberated through the air, resonating with an alien frequency that set my nerves on edge. Paralyzed by an invisible force, I watched in horror as the room warped and twisted, reality itself distorting. The air crackled with energy, and I felt an otherworldly presence surround me. A blinding light enveloped my senses, and the next thing I knew, I was no longer in my room. I found myself lying on a cold, metallic surface, disoriented and surrounded by an unearthly luminescence. My surroundings defied logic, sterile walls devoid of any familiar markings, and a sense of weightlessness that left me floating in the void. Panic surged through me as I realized the magnitude of my situation. I had been abducted by beings not of this world. As my eyes adjusted to the bizarre environment, I discerned shadowy figures moving silently around me. Tall and slender, their forms seemed to shift and flicker, like apparitions in the nebulous light. Alien whispers echoed in my mind, a language beyond my comprehension that sent shivers down my spine. I attempted to move, but my limbs felt heavy and unresponsive. Panic turned to dread as one of the alien entities approached, its elongated fingers gently caressing my forehead. Images flooded my mind, glimpses of distant galaxies, alien landscapes, and cosmic wonders that transcended human understanding. The beings communicated not with words, but through a shared consciousness, and I felt a profound connection to the mysteries of the cosmos. Fear gave way to awe as I realized the vastness of the universe and my infinitesimal place within it. Time lost all meaning as the beings conducted their enigmatic examination. They probed my thoughts, my memories, extracting fragments of my existence. I was both a participant and an observer, a mere mortal caught in the cosmic dance of beings far beyond human comprehension. As abruptly as it began, the surreal experience ended. I found myself back in my room, the alien luminescence fading into the recesses of memory. A profound sense of disorientation lingered, and I questioned the boundaries of reality. Haunted by the encounter, I struggled to reconcile the extraordinary with the mundane. Was it a dream, a hallucination, or a glimpse into the cosmic tapestry that binds us to the unknown. The answers remained elusive, locked away in the enigma of that alien abduction, an indelible mark on the fabric of my perception. The night sky was ablaze with stars, and I lay in bed, gazing through my window at the cosmic wonders above. A sudden chill crept into the room, and an unsettling hum filled the air, making the hairs on the back of my neck stand on end. The room flickered with an otherworldly light, casting strange shadows that danced across the walls. My body became weightless, as if gravity itself had relinquished its hold. Panic surged through me as I realized I was being lifted off my bed, drawn toward an intense beam of light that pierced through the ceiling. The world outside blurred, and the next moment, I found myself suspended in a metallic chamber that seemed to stretch into infinity. Strange symbols adorned the walls, emitting an otherworldly glow. 
I struggled to move, but an unseen force held me in place. Alien figures materialized around me, their forms distorted and surreal. Eyes, large and luminescent, fixated on me with an intelligence that transcended human understanding. As the beings approached, I felt a wave of calm wash over me, their telepathic communication resonating in my mind. They sought to understand the intricacies of human existence, probing my thoughts and memories with a gentle curiosity. Images of Earth, its beauty and chaos, flashed before me like an ethereal slideshow. I tried to comprehend their intentions, but the alien entities existed on a plane beyond my understanding. They emanated a sense of ancient wisdom, guardians of cosmic knowledge. My fear waned, replaced by a profound sense of connection to the mysteries of the universe. Suddenly, the chamber opened, revealing a panoramic view of space that defied comprehension. Celestial bodies, nebulae, and galaxies stretched out in every direction. The beings beckoned me toward an expansive observation deck, and as I stepped onto it, I felt the void of space envelop me. Together, we traversed the cosmos, witnessing the birth and death of stars, the ebb and flow of cosmic energies. Time became a fluid concept, and I marveled at the interconnectedness of all things. The beings shared visions of worlds unknown, civilizations risen and fallen, leaving an indelible imprint on the tapestry of existence. Just as suddenly as it began, the cosmic journey ended. I found myself back in my room, the alien figures fading into the recesses of memory. The hum subsided, and gravity reclaimed its hold. A mix of awe and bewilderment gripped me as I grappled with the extraordinary experience. As I lay in bed, staring once again at the night sky, I couldn't shake the feeling that the universe, vast and mysterious, held secrets that transcended the boundaries of human understanding. The encounter left me with a newfound perspective, a realization that our place in the cosmos is both fragile and infinitely connected to the cosmic dance of the unknown. The clock struck midnight, signaling an ungodly hour where darkness reigned supreme. Sleep eluded me, my room bathed in an oppressive silence. A cold wind whispered through the cracks in my window, carrying with it an unsettling chill that seemed to penetrate to my very core. Abruptly, the room plunged into absolute darkness. The air thickened, and a malevolent presence seized the space around me. Panic gripped my chest as I realized I was no longer alone. A guttural growl echoed from the shadows, and an otherworldly glow revealed a ghastly figure at the foot of my bed. Its eyes glowed like embers, fixated on me with an insatiable hunger. A skeletal hand extended towards me, long, gnarled fingers reaching for my very soul. Paralyzed by fear, I felt an unseen force drag me toward the edge of the bed, my limbs no longer under my control. The room seemed to warp and contort, the walls closing in as if to suffocate me. Whispers, sinister and unintelligible, filled the air. Shadows danced with malevolence, their twisted forms flickering in and out of existence. The temperature plummeted, and an unholy stench enveloped me, a foul mixture of decay and ancient malevolence. As the ghastly figure drew closer, its visage became clearer, a spectre draped in tattered robes, its skeletal face contorted into a grotesque mockery of life. I could feel its malevolence seeping into my very soul, an unrelenting force that sought to consume every ounce of light within me. The room echoed with tortured moans, as if the walls themselves bore witness to unspeakable horrors. Shadows coiled around me, tightening their grip, as the spectral figure's chilling laughter reverberated through the air. The boundary between nightmare and reality blurred and I questioned my sanity in the face of this eldritch horror. Suddenly, the room fell silent. The ghastly figure retreated into the shadows, leaving me gasping for breath. The oppressive darkness lifted, and the malevolent presence dissipated like a haunting spectre. I found myself alone, 
shaken and drenched in cold sweat, as the first light of dawn began to pierce the remnants of the night. As the morning sun bathed my room in a hesitant warmth, I questioned the reality of the night's terrors. Was it a malevolent dream, a manifestation of the darkest recesses of my subconscious, or had I truly encountered an entity from the shadows? The unanswered questions lingered, casting a perpetual shadow over the once familiar corners of my room, a testament to the enduring horror that had visited me in the dead of night. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.